What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. V3.5 is upon us and what else is coming Thursday? Let's do our preview as we always do. So we know V3.5 is coming tomorrow, the 18th of April. And V3.5 lads, it is, I think it's an important update. We're only going to get a couple of more updates before uh, eFootball 2025 is kind of unveiled. So I feel like V3.5 needs to right a lot of the wrongs that is in V3.4. Dribbling in V3.4 is at a high point, but interceptions and flow of the game I think is at a low point. We're also going to talk about measures against exploits. This is against people cheating or manipulating their network. I'm sure you guys have had a couple of sticky games lately. Um, a bit of cheating has kind of crept back in, but we'll get into that again. We're just going to focus on what's going to be coming in v3.5 and obviously look at that then on Thursday in our live stream i also feel like that the reset progression is miles overdue i definitely think there should be one a week or one a month where you get a period to reset your players especially for newcomers that have never got a free player reset or else for people that have been playing for months and months and months maybe dipped out and then have come back and they find that their team is a little bit outdated with where the meta is gone in terms of the tackling and the aggression with the defenders with speed um you know and a couple of bits and pieces that they've done to pass and to link passing with player skills versus player stats so i definitely think that the player reset will come if not thursday it has to come soon or else give us a means of earning a lot more gp we know that we're going to be getting new cards that goes without saying every thursday we get the player of the weeks without without fail um and we know that we're going to be getting new epics or new you know there's two or three packs that are going to be gone there Konami always tweet out now on a Wednesday morning. They always tweet out, as you can see here, the official uh, Japan... Uh, Konami account, we Konami account on Twitter. They always tweet out, and it doesn't take long. You know, we actually had a bit of time today. We went in and we just looked on Getty Images and looked at a couple of the images that were there. And it looks like, I mean, Cole Palmer is 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 a definite. I mean, his his uh, silhouette lines up absolutely flawlessly there with that card design. I think he's a definite with a booster. There is one or two kind of question marks over the the guy in the middle, but I do think that the third guy they're saying it's going to be. Um, Sure, many, uh, and I feel like yeah, he probably deserves one as well. It's going to be a non-booster edition within this player of the week. They only ever release two boosters and then a non-booster just to kind of tease it out. Um, but it doesn't take long. Now, some people are saying, look at look at my skills, lads. Some people are saying that it could be Eze. I I, I kind of pop it up in the Discord. A few people were saying to me, no, it's definitely going to be him uh, after his goal against uh, Liverpool the other day. But it, I think it's going to be Daku, man. I mean, this guy has been tearing it up uh, against Luton the other day. I think he had it like a goal, an assist anyone the penalty I think somebody was saying in my discord so um we do have that and I, I feel like Cole Palmer is definitely going to be one to watch because it depends they need to give him a really really good card with dribbling and stuff which could be unique uh, for him with his player skills um, and our good friend Arrow as well has obviously put this mock up there as well so you can just see that this is a little bit more filled out with the actual car design itself so this is a mock up from Arrow over on Twitter as well so GG's to him but yeah it, it looks like it's Palmer I mean I always kind of knew that it was going to be Palmer and Chua Mini there is a couple of more that will make up this pack as well um, but yeah I mean usually with the player of the weeks now they are kind of for newcomers unless it's like a, an unbelievably beastly card which it's been rare that one has come out uh, recently you know now, one thing I want to talk about, boys, just very quickly, I don't want to make this video too short or too long. One thing I want to talk about is, well, there's two things I want to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is the actual flow to the game. I think this is a big concern for me, especially that I like a free-flowing game. I'm not saying that I want to pass, you know, every single ball through the legs of the opponent or around the opponent, but this is very sticky gameplay where there just seems to be kind of like a mismatch of collisions, clicking in, clicking out, you know, animations going in and going out, and it's just very messy. And also the input delay, man. The input delay, I think, at the moment has been really poor. You'll see here I get the ball with Carlos, and I, tr I can't get the ball in, man. I can't get the ball in. And this is the same clip. Uh, obviously, you know, we're, we're really struggling in this game. This was a game on live stream the other day, and it literally felt like I was playing in quicksand, lads. Um, you know, and it, it's frustrating. It's frustrating because, you know, it's it's one of these things that you're trying to press buttons and just nothing has happened. You can see there the ball just flows past me with no input at all. So I want to see that changed. But I do feel like they did need to shake it up a little bit. I feel like at the moment... Um, you know, with those issues, the collisions and the passing, the interceptions and the flow, and then also sometimes with the input delay. The input delay isn't a lag issue. You know, it's not it's not an actual like network issue or anything like that. It just seems to be that at certain points, if you have a bad connection, it just seems to it just seems to not when you press a button to pass or clear, the animation doesn't seem to click in. So that's just something that I've noticed in V three point four a little bit more that some of the players are a bit slower to go through their animations. Um, you know, with that, and you can notice it after you. Know, 
know, if one game out of 10, it happens, but if it's happening like two or three times, you know, somebody that's played the game a lot will, will notice the heaviness with their touch. And I've been seeing a lot of people on Discord saying it as well, that it's not just me or it's not just, you know, a, a couple of people. So I hope that that changes because when the game plays, it's super, super fun. You can have some brilliant goals, you can score some brilliant goals, and you can have some great crack with the game, especially if you are playing dribble centric. Dribbling at the moment, I think, I don't think that they should touch it, man. If they just tweak, I would say if they could take down the defensive aggressiveness and the defensive AI positioning by about 10 to 15 percent, still leave it there, still leave you a template to be able to operate on if you're not playing the game for that long, or if you just don't really want to manually defend. It's still kind of like hold your hand a little bit, you know? Um, but I just feel like if they reduce that by 10 to 15 percent and keep the dribbling where it is, I think that we could have an unbelievably balanced game. Um, because I think that the speed at the moment is quite good. All of that sort of stuff is quite good at the moment. I know the game is very speed centric, but let me know your thoughts, lads. I'm looking forward to Thursday. We're going to be streaming as we normally do. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the chat and we can go over V3.5 together and get our thoughts down together. So until then, I will talk to you later. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you in a bit.